Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Fan. Uh, some of you are probably thinking like, wow, Junior is literally just using this intro to flex his new sunglasses. Well, you're absolutely right. I probably look like such a streamer junkie right now. Bro, hand me my 10 weight. I'm gonna throw my 12 inch classroom in now. Today's episode was actually supposed to be like a lip ripping, tooly busting, hyacinth punching Delta kayak video with Zach and Mark. However, they did have some good excuses. They had some family related stuff, which as you guys know, like family always comes first. You know, fishing is amazing, but family always comes first. Um, some of you might even have noticed that the saying on the fishing fam coat of arms is familia ante todo, which literally translates to family before everything. Because at the end of the day, fishing starts in the family. I mean, the only reason I am into fishing is because my uncle Mark took me when I was like six or seven years old. And now we're making videos together 20 something years later, which is super, super cool. I'm actually at the place that my friend Mark Toomey uh, brought me to fish for some pike minnow. I'm doing everything on the fly today. I didn't even bring a bait caster or a spinning rod. It's just all fly fishing today. So with that said, I'm gonna get my stuff rigged up and catch yourself some pike minnow. Let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I almost took a little tumble there. Oh, there we go. That one, that one hit it nice and hard. Cool. So for those of you guys who are wondering what I caught that on, uh, it's basically a small prince nymph uh, that looks like a yellow jacket. Uh, you can get these at Bass Pro. Um, this is probably my favorite prince nymph to fish in California simply because like we have a lot of wasps, we have a lot of bees. So anything that just like has these colors um, and has just this shape is like, you're gonna, like you're probably gonna catch something on it. And it's a super versatile fly. I've caught a uh, bluegill, uh, warmouth, bass, uh, now pike minnow, trout. So it's it's uh, just an all-around good fly. Like I'm not doing really anything special. I'm just casting into where the ripples are. So like right here, it's kind of like slow, not really moving water. And you can catch a fish here. I even see one right there. Right where you see those little ripples in the distance, that's right where they're heading. I, I see them shining. I see bigger ones shining there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast over that way, right into where those ripples start and let it flow right into this this drop off here because that's where they're hanging they're just hanging right in under that drop off and when they see that fly come down they come up and they just snatch it so let's see if i can make that work in practice and not just in theory and then, oh there's another little guy this one's not gonna fit in the net tiny little dude See you later, little dude. Oh, 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 wrong way. Oh, there you go. What I'm doing here is that there's water like just kind of rotating over here and the current's going in this way. So I'm throwing it right on the line of where the water starts to kind of flip back on itself. I'm trying to just make this look like, there we go. Try to make it look like a bug that's just kind of drifting. That's a tiny fish. We'll take it. They're pretty fish. They really are. I, I think they are. Oh, okay. See you later, dude. Oh, I'm on. Sweet. Another pike minnow. Go ahead and fight it. Turn him around. I could net this one. Just big enough. Cool. That one slammed it. Like, to be honest, I thought I got hung up on something. And... All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. 
Um, I had some very good luck in the beginning uh, with catching those pike minnow and just kind of like going through how to catch them. I hope that was really helpful for you guys as well as like the flies that work, at least in California, Central Valley area. They are a really fun fish to catch. People just kind of like talk them down the same way that people talk badly about carp, but I mean, they're another species of fish to catch and I think they're worth catching. They hit your bait super hard, like they're aggressive fish. Um, when they are eating bait fish or bugs, you know, otherwise the rest of the time they're, on, you know, they're on the bottom eating algae and but they present a challenge for sure. So I think maybe that's why a lot of people don't like them um, as well as they're, they, I mean, they're a little slimy, but like all fish are slimy. The misconceptions about like carp and uh, pike minnow, I think are a little bit ridiculous. They're fun fish to catch. I hope this video has encouraged some of you guys to try and catch some pike minnow or I guess squaw fish. Maybe they're, the, they're not the same thing. I, I'm pretty sure they are the same thing. If you are a conventional guy and not a fly guy, um, my friend Toomey catches them on little cast masters about that big, like two inch cast masters. Um, and he caught a big one actually on that. Um, so I think I have a picture here. Um, it was a it was a big one and he when he sent me that picture I was like okay I need to try and catch this species and so every time I go out to that part of the river I'm learning more and more about them so hopefully next time I'll have a little bit more intel and a little bit more to tell you guys but today was mostly just like the gist of how to catch them on the fly which is not all that different from normal fly fishing when you're fly fishing for trout and stuff like that Anyway, I hope you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.